Hey there folks, this is Green Yaxi, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. This is episode 38. In the last episode we made it to Wingley Forest with a whole party and not just with Meru. And now we need to get the dragon blocking staff. I keep saying from the mayor, or whatever, but... <laughs> he's called the Ancestor in this foresty town. Anyway, now we're here with the whole party, we can get two Stardust. We won't be going... To, well, we'll be getting them in a couple of minutes anyway, but... The walls between species are thicker than you would think, but maybe you can destroy them. I feel that way. Oh, metaphor! Quite like it too. Respect the intention of the Ancestor. The Ancestor trusted you. We trust you too. Oh, okay. As long as he trusts us. I didn't realize that. Let's try this way first. I'm gonna try all the wrong ways first. Oh! Ah, oh, that's where you get back down. Yeah, let's go back up. <laughs> Could just keep jumping down, having us, having him fly us up, go around in circles. <laughs> I know the shit out of him. Nah, let's carry on. That's where we went. There are the two places where we need to go. Well, one of them anyway. Without using the stone, you cannot use magic or fly. Humans are such weaklings. Well, I don't know. Father, mother, I'm home. Oh, hello. No, do you realize what you're doing? So, they're the humans who have deluded you. Don't talk bad about my friends. Meru, I'm still me. Yeah, we didn't delude her. She left the forest ages ago without even knowing us. Stupid parents. The ancestor believed in Meru and is allowing the humans to pass through here. You have to believe in Meru too. Have we even seen the ancestor as a party yet? Humans over there. The dragon is supposed to be your ally. Winglies and humans are enemies. Why are you trying to defeat the dragon with us? The dragon campaign has been over for more than 10,000 years. Besides, there is no reason for our two species to fight each other, is there? Hmm. Something to think about, dinner? <laughs> Honey, our ideas may be too old. If that's all it takes after thousands of years of brainwashing ed etched into your head, heads, you know. Please take care of Meru. You don't need to say such a thing. I'm the one taking care of them. <laughs> oh, Meru is taking care of... Yup. Who? Dart and everybody. What? what? <laughs> I assume there's no time for this. He's right, Meru. Let's get going to the Ancestor. Okay. She's seen her parents now. Your father talks harshly to you, but actually he's happy to see your face. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Besides, he likes Dart and friends. Don't be yapping about silly things and just go see the Ancestor. <laughs> okay. He can't show that much happiness because if he shows signs of helping us, even though... Actually, I don't know now. The Ancestor seems to approve of us according to these people around here, so... I don't know if they can show friendliness and everything towards us now or not. I think a lot, but... Oh. <laughs> but I know. You don't show signs of thinking a lot, but okay. Okay, we'll go to the top one first. You don't have to come to the top one, it just leads you to like the weapon shop, the item shop, and a stardust. So, you know the main reason I'm coming, yeah? Hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 they do want to buy them. I see what you got here. I think once for Meru, it would make sense. Yeah. Oh, the only weapon is for Meru. I'll buy it. Not much point, but I'll buy it. Uh, raises magical attacking power. 30 more, that's pretty good. 30 is a lot in this game. Magical defensive power, that's really good. Um, maybe. And uh, evasive rate for magical attacks by 20 points. Don't actually see that stat. I do want to get the spiritual ring, but... Dear God, look how expensive it is. I'm going to sell some stuff. We haven't sold any equipment for so long. Keep the heat blade just in case we can hit a weakness. Uh, Demon Slit, I'll keep the Shadow Cutter in case of the weakness once again. Spear, we'll give it a U. I should really do all this off screen, but. Uh, I'll keep both of those. Oh, so much. Yeah, I'll have to do it off screen sometime. I'll, I'll leave that for now. Anyway, not that much to buy there, really. Right, Healing Fog. 
Healing Breeze. We want to have quite a few of them because I know for a fact that there's some tough stuff coming up. So I'm going to get some more Healing Breezes. I'm going to have to sell some stuff now. Again. Was it a Healing Rain? What did I do? Ah, okay. That's good. It's a good one. A couple of the depetrifiers, because God knows you might as well just have the body purifiers, right? Oh, it doesn't get rid of petrify. Oh, well, we'll get rid of a couple of them anyway. Um, I'll give it a light-based one. It doesn't say powerful on it. I do want to get rid of one of these. So which one? Doubles the jolly. It's good, but I just don't use these items. Physical attacks? Maybe. Blocks enemy move for three turns. Repeatable. Never mind. We'll keep them for now, I guess. And I do want to get another healing breeze. We got six. That should be plenty, right? It'll do. It'll do. If we go up this way, we get a little scene. Like, we just saw Meru's mother and father. We didn't actually have to see that scene. Same as this one. It's just getting to know Meru a bit better through her town. Let me show you some cool stuff. <coughs> we What they worship. What's this? It's the Archangel. Archangel? Hmm. It's the guardian god of the Wingbees. The ancestor told me. You say told me, but don't you worship it too, Meru? I dunno. I've never been protected. Maybe I just don't know, though. Okay, end of tour. And you can keep looking. She just asks you if you want to see it again. I did a bit of a practice run of this part, just so we could get the Stardust really easily. And one of them is in Yar. As well as the scene. <laughs> Meru, I knew it! You're coming back to me! Uh, not quite. <laughs> You're humans? Uh-huh. So, you are the friends of Meru? That's right. This is Gwaraha, Gwa <laughs> Gwaraha, <laughs> a friend of mine. You said I'm just your friend. Um, we grew up together. You're my fiance. Oh, I didn't know you had a fiance, Meru. Hmm, there's more to you than I thought, Meru. What are you talking about? It's true, isn't it? I thought you were still a kid. Hmm, must be true that the Wingleys have a long life, and they are not as young as they look. What are you analyzing me for? What kind of relationship do you have with Meru? Relationship? We're just friends. At first she insisted on following us. Is that so? We have no time to talk about that. <laughs> Why are you co cooping yourself up in here? There are awful things going on outside. Yeah, go outside the forest and help. Bloody hell. As the ancestor told us, the Divine Dragon has come back to life, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Why don't you defend in the forest? The other day, I let you in the forest, Meru. I'm on probation now. Oh. Of course, I would defend the forest if I could. Whatever. You can still just leave the forest. You don't have to... <laughs> Scared of not being allowed back in, that's what it is. We're going to see the ancestor. You just stay here and be gloomy. You be a little gloom. Meru, you've changed. You can be changed too if you go outside Gra... Gra Dear God. <laughs> gra -ra -ha. I There's a commandment for Swinglies. We cannot do what you want us to do, Meru. Yes, you can. Oh. <laughs> That's a brilliant argument. But, yes, you can. Anyway, Stardust. No, oh, I skipped through it, sorry. But, anyway, we got a Stardust. Mm -hmm, I, I guess it's an interesting shaped shel shelf. Not very functional, maybe. One more Stardust to get! And it's not far at all. It is on this one, and this is where we actually have to go. Here we go. The Stardust first, I think, over at this tree thing. Hello. So we know we got 40 status out of the 50 of the game. The room upstairs is for recovering your health. Please feel free to use it. It's an order from the ancestor. Oh, okay. You cannot use magic. You cannot even fly. Must be very inconvenient, isn't it? 
Right, right. Yeah, I guess so. Linus. She's not a wingley from this forest. Oh. Linus, a wingley who we don't know. I thought we were the last of the wingleys. Well, now you know. <laughs> it says this is the way to go to rest, but that confuses me because all it does is make you confront the people we were told to watch out for in the last episode. The Bardell brothers. Are you bothering us again? I say confront, we're not going to fight them, but... <laughs> but mm, yeah. The Divine Dragon can be taken care of by us without asking humans for help. Besides, we have no business talking to a betrayer who ran off to humans. What happened to you? The Bardell I knew was much kinder. I wasn't like that. My baby sister was killed by a human. Oh no. My baby sister was influenced by you, Mao, and left the forest, believing that the outside world was wonderful. We don't need humans' help. Do you have something else to say? Oh, it's all because of Meru that his sister left. Maybe more people killed now. Good for you. It's a good chance to learn how helpless you humans are. You twat. But we Wingleys won't die. Our magic power surpasses the dragons. You are strong, huh? Don't make me laugh. I wonder if you have noticed you are declining because you cling to the glory of the past. What are you talking about? You can barely fly, and that's about it, right? Oh shit. Maybe you won't think that way after this. <laughs> you can't hurt a dragoon so easily. No way. Is this the legendary dragoon? Please let us take care of the divine dragon. I'll come back to take care of your baby sister's matter after my journey has ended. So please trust us for now. The ones who flaunt their power disappear when the truly powerful appear. I'm going ahead. Yeah, because they're not the most powerful around anymore, so they just bugger off. If we cannot even have revenge for our baby sister anymore, the Divine Dragon cannot be. Oh, the other brother. <laughs> I feel weak in my knees. I cannot move. Is this real? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you wimp, brother. How dare you humans, just because you are afraid of our magic power, you are sending the destroyers of old, dragoons, at us. That's, that's not how it is. Silly humans, I'll pass sentence for the sin of killing my sister. I'll annihilate them now. Oh shit. <laughs> we got those lovely Bardell brothers on our side, by the looks of it. <laughs> Hello. I heard from the ancestor, do you want me to carry you to the upper level? Yay. I always think of like Super Mario Sunshine on this part where those little Delfino people to throw you <laughs> so they can throw us up you. I don't know. That's what I was thinking of anyway. <laughs> Here we go. We made it to the top of the village. Town village thing. There's nobody here. Where's the ancestor? Uh. My body's been healed. Oh, we've been healed. That's what I was talking about down there. This is as much of the practice run as I did for this episode. So I, I figured, I got a stardust, so don't need to practice anymore, really. I wonder if it's an apology for the discourtesy. Hold on, right. Ancestor, sorry we are late. Um, oh, there he is. <laughs> it's Ramu. Welcome, humans and Giganto. I am Blano, the ancestor of the forest. Oh. I'm the first sacred sister of Milsa Sui, Miranda. Please forgive our sudden visit. I would like you to listen to our story. The Divine Dragon is... I know. The Divine Dragon came back to life in the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon, and there are dragoons that have come to us. It seems that the times won't leave us alone. Mm. The messenger from the Crystal Palace and the people who were fated to come here. Our opponent is so enormous, we have to combine each of our strengths, or none of us will survive. Neither the Crystal Palace, nor our forest. You mean... Let's put the power of the Dragoons and our wisdom together. Yeah, let's work together to get rid of the Dragon. You let us borrow your Dragon Block Staff? We don't have the Dragon Buster now, so the Dragon Block Staff is our last resort. We no longer have the power to master that, however. If you, who rule the Dragons, can use it, we can fight against the Divine Dragon. Yeah. I appreciate your kindness. However, we cannot participate in the battle with all that remain. Ah, that's fair enough. It could kill off an entire sort of race. We cannot become extinct. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. 
I know, you're a Dragoon too, Meru. Go inside, I'll show you the way to the Dragon Block staff. Okay, let's go! I'll meet you there, Meru. Oh, they won't have a word. You're attracted to those humans. Look at how high that's going up, that lift. Oh, stop now. <laughs> yup. They're really cool. Ancestor, I want to go on the journey with them. And I want to see my mother and father any time I want. You tell me to throw our commandment away. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's not the right time yet. But eventually, in the near future, the time will come when us and humans live together. Go with them. As a wingly, go see humans, or better yet, the entire world. Your experience will lead us. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, we'll go save the world. I'll meet you there. He's a nice ancestor. If Meru is the one leading us to the outer world, where are those humans leading the world to? It must be the flow of time. Only the fates can tell. I can't answer that question for you, sir. <laughs> I am but a feeble human. Okay, that's way back down. Let's talk to him. The Dragon Block Staff is sealed in the Forbidden Land over there. Okay. Forbidden Land. It's the place where our hideous memory sleeps. It used to be, until 11,000 years ago, a palace for Swinglies, and it was the place where eternal prosperity was promised. It was called the Royal Capital Cadessa. Now it is a mere ruin without a name. You sure? Is it okay to go in? It's fine. Everything is in the past. I see. We have to do what we can to do now. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We got loads of healing items. We've been healed. We'll be fine. Yes, we are. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Looks like we're going to another planet or something. Looking up in the sky, really. Memoria style. Oh, oh, shit. This is the wisdom of the Winglies. They're going to crush you with rocks. It's a ruin of their wisdom. Let's go. Oh wow. It's funny how they're quite futuristic in some ways. Because of their wisdom. Even though they've been stuck in a forest for so long, they're quite futuristic in their teleporters and things like that. Maybe teleporters is all of it, but there we go. <laughs> oh, is this going to be a fire area? It looks it. So this is the Forbidden Land. The ruins of past glory. This place looks really nice. I love the color start, the color choice. No remnant of the royal capital remains. What's wrong, Meru? You're shaking. Because I I hear the outcries of the people who died here. Oh my God, she's heiress. She really is. You're gonna wait in the forest, Meru? No, I'm okay. If I can't get past such a small thing, how will I be able to fight against the Divine Dragon? Yeah, now let's go get him. Oh, another dungeon. The dungeons haven't been that bad in this game. Not really. Uh, anything? No? Okay. Oh, I was, I was going to say how arrow and changing colours. <laughs> it is now. Mind purifier, I don't really care about that, but we'll keep it until we need another item. Ooh, get ready, we're going to see our first battle, yeah? Oh, well, we went an entire screen without a battle. Not a small screen, really, either. Right, try this way. Oh, okay, we're going after all. <laughs> was waiting for that. Alright, what we got ya? Really does look like the Temple of the Ancients from in the battle. Right, we got pucks, no fire types, earth types, and a uh, non elemental. And go for the spinning head. I don't know why, but. Can't wait to be able to switch from Madness Hero. It'll be amazing when I can. There we go. 
I get the impression that that back guy would have been quite hard. Spinning cane. Yeah, spinning cane. 99 damage, not that bad. Spirit. Oh shit, I hate the spirit. Oh, okay, so. I'm gonna get rid of the spirit by turning him into a dragoon. Might be a bit of a waste, but it'll be worth it. I'm sure it'll be worth it. So I don't like the spirit at all, so. And it'll, when he's in dragoon form as well, it'll be no. Oh. Well, never mind then. It would have been enough to uh, <laughs> kill off the enemy, probably, as well, but. Never mind. That was a bit getting, actually. I want to see if the spirit has gone now or if we have to use an item to get rid of it. I'll use an item if we have to. Yeah, go on then. Or oh, is it to mind? Probably mind. Fear? Yeah, the spirit. There we go. Oh, we got loads of these teleporter style things going on, have we? Nothing down yet? Nope. So it's only way, one way we can go. Good. <laughs> I don't like teleport mazes in games at all. Especially in RPGs when you've got random encounters. This is okay, it's straightforward even if it looks like there's a lot of pathways in it. So far at least. I don't know. So many ways to go. If we go down, we'll go left to an archway by there. That might be the way we need to go. Oh shit, no. Okay, we'll try this way first. From that battle, we got an accessory called a dancer's ring. I want to have a look at what that does exactly, all the way down. Is it two? Maybe it's only for female characters. I get the impression it probably is. There it is. Increase the agility by 20 points. So it's like the bandit's ring, but for females. It's good, isn't it? Um, I want to see a description of bandit's ring, really, but... I'm going to keep therapy ring on it, I think. I think that'll be best for her, considering her max HP stat and everything. Okay. I do actually want to be going the wrong way. But I'm willing to bet this is the right way. <laughs> This is just taking us further down and down. I don't want that. Chest chest by there. Oh, chest chest. I know how to get that, that. We need to go all the way back to where we had that fork in the path. I'll see you back there. Oop, new enemy on the way back. What the hell are they swinging? It's like <laughs> branches. Are they going to set it on fire and burn us to death? Gnomes. We fight the gnomes. <laughs> Bizarre. Pretty speedy little shits. Uh oh. I thought they looked magic y. Enemies are doing quite a bit more damage lately, but it's not that bad. Really not. 75 damage. Come on now. <laughs> By the way, I had a look at the additions before starting to record. Uh, Rose and Dart are really close to getting up to level 4 now. They probably are on level 4 by now. As for Albert, he's he's coming up to level 2 uh, level two or level 3 on Spinning Cane. He's going to be a while either way. It's funny how we don't say the name for spell when enemies use magic. I'm so used to it saying it. Nope. Nope. Hard blade. Yeah, hard blade. And we are back. Let's check this way out first. <laughs> Wish I did it before now, but never mind. There we go. Trust just. Let's see what we came all the way back for. Dancer's shoes. 
Oh, wow. Worth coming back is probably going to be an upgrade for those. Probably, I don't know, probably any female character, I would think. Defense goes down, but speed goes up. You could get 20 more agility from that, and the dancer's ring on as well. You'd have 40 more agility. That's pretty amazing. Sadly, there's not something I'm going to use. Or 29 down to 24. That's not that bad, you know. It's only a 5 defense drop for 20 more agility. And go for it. Frig it. <laughs> ah, see you back where we were before. Another new enemy. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it'll be the last one, but they're flying types, so they're going to be hard to hit. We all know it. We'll give it a go. Rose can hit them easy enough by the looks of it, <laughs> unless we just got lucky. Ooh, one hit kill too. Hardblade is really good. I'd be shocked if her best move is that much better than it. Ah, I see. It was a light time enemy. A light type enemy, so she killed him because of her darkness. Fair enough. Yeah. Just the one left. And he can do the spirit. Ugh, we saw it before. So I want to get rid of it before... Th yeah, there we go. Get rid of it before that can happen. <laughs> Anyone going to level up? Nah. Okay, we're back pretty much. Let's just carry on from by here. That wall looks like you can walk through it on the left, but you can't. You can't go anywhere with it, unless I just tried and it was really fiddly and couldn't get anywhere, but I don't think it can actually do anything with it. Ooh, ooh, where are we heading? Completely new place. <laughs> Aha, ooh, ooh, soy pit. It's such a large space. Yeah, oh dear god, it really is like Temple of the Ancients. Like when you're chasing that little ancient guy around through all the doors and it keeps going in weird different places. <laughs> Reminds me of that. Indeed, I wonder what it was for. It's not crashed over looks of it. Conkle feels, smells like blood. Oh, okay. Blood and large space, sounds like a coliseum. It does look like one. But there's no stands for seats. They just stand there, don't they? Yes, it really was. I heard it from the Ancestor. Oh. Once upon a time, it was a Colosseum, but it wasn't for regular fights that you won or lost, it was for matches to the death. Ah. Oh. Wingleys would just enjoy the view from above of fighters picked from among the dominated humans, dragons and some gigantos. I am the offspring of that kind of wingly. Oh. Don't feel guilty, is it? It wasn't you, did it? The ancestor told us that this is a mere ruin, didn't he? Yeah, it looks like one. What happened here happened in the past. No matter what sorrow there was, it's no longer our sorrow. Isn't that right? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about, Meru. The sins of the past are there just to tell us not to repeat them anymore. Cheer up. Let's focus on moving on. Yeah, let's go. Okie doke. Let's have a little look. Let's go on up. Apparently there's a healing point somewhere in this dungeon. That'd be nice. We don't really need it up at all, I know, but... Still. Let's keep going. This is a little bit repetitive, having to go left to right, left to right all the time. Instead of just having stairs to the top, but... It gives the effect of the whole Colosseum and being able to go along the outer walls of it, so... I quite like it myself. Ooh, pinky one. We found our healing point, folks. And I just saw a save point there in the corner of my eye. <laughs> so let's have a look at our additions. Uh, level 4 Madness Hero. SP is amazing. Damage, shockingly shite, but there we go. Get that up 90 more, and then we can change back to Crush Dance, I think. Yeah, Crush Dance. Volcano could be good too, but we get more SP from Crush Dance, so. Hardblade. Get in there. It's getting there. Look at that damage as well, 250. And spinning cane. It's nearly at level 3. That'll be nice. Probably take the damage up to about the amount of harpoon, maybe. It's just shite in general, spinning cane right now, until it levels up more. So. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> What's up there? 
Anyway, let's go. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we go for some more of the Forbidden Land. See you in a bit, folks.